So hello, guys. Thank you so much for coming for my talk. It's the third day. You already had an amazing after party yesterday. So who were yesterday at the after party? Yeah, and after lunch. So thank you so much. So let's talk about what makes a good engineering culture. And before I'll start, I'll make a short introduction about me, what actually I'm doing in terms of engineering culture and so on. So my name is Natalie, and uh, I work in tech for around seven years. Uh, I have experience in marketing and user experience, and I previously I was working at the company Craftworks as a user experience engineer, and my team is here. Thank you, guys. And my recent position as a CEO of Tapsa Spaces, and uh, we help to connect companies with developers. Besides that, talking about developers' communities, uh, I'm a Facebook developer circle lead here in Vienna. Maybe some of you were at our um, meetup at the first day, so thank you for, the, for that. And also, I'm a curator of a chatbot community here in Vienna. And yeah, well, let's talk what actually culture is. Uh, in my opinion, this is a really good description. So culture is what actually people do when no one is looking. And this is one of the pictures from yesterday after party, and you can see that things that you do subconsciously, that dance that no one looking at you, and uh, that no one is noticing, this is like what's cultural mix, what, how people communicate, how people work subconsciously, like as a ritual already. And also I want to mention what the engineer culture is not. You know, even here when I talk with the companies and I talk, uh, ask them about what you think is the engineering culture, and this says something about, like, yeah, we offer free food for our engineers, like free coffee, table soccer, and so on. So this is all not engineer culture. And, you know, in general, if you would ask me what, in my opinion, is engineering culture is, like, how things get done uh, around here, so around here in our companies. And what I want to stress here, it's like things get done. Um, and, you know, when you are thinking about what is engineering culture, you can actually ask the engineers. So I also want to ask you how many from you here work in tech industry? Yeah, cool guys. And how many of you uh, work as a developers, engineers? Yeah, great. And how many of you think that engineering culture is really important thing in tech industry? So, yeah, I'm glad that you're my audience here today, thanks. And it was a research uh, I was making in the Royal Academy of Engineering in UK, and they asked about 7,000 participants, so something like here at this Congress, about what they define as engineering culture. And these things, like values, beliefs, behaviors, perception, experience, and relationships, are really define the engineering culture. And... Uh, also, why actually engineering culture is important? Why it's such a thing? Why you can't just not, I don't know, build a product, cool some stuff, eat in this free pizza, and basically that's it for the good company. And I really like this quote from Tim O'Reilly, that you need to apply the same level of deep thinking about building a culture as you would think about building a product. But also what I want to mention that even you have a good engineering culture, it doesn't actually mean that you have a good business, though. So you really need also to consider in terms of uh, building a team, building a product, business model, and so on. But engineering culture, you also need to uh, pay attention for that. And because if you have a good engineering culture, the things not only get done, they get done well. And, uh, you know, I was mentioning about this research, and uh, around 90, 97 participants, all, all around like 7,000 engineers, uh, they said that, you know, these kind of values, these six, it's the most important key values that makes engineering culture good. So I will just mention as my keynote, my keynote is 15 minutes. That's why I like just go through with the most important things. And after it, I'll stay here for the whole day and you could ask me all the questions. So. Let's go back to the values of good engineering culture. It's problem solving, safety conscious, proud, loyal, team oriented, and also flexible in places. And um, what I really like about this research is that around 97 participants said the most important thing for them is to feel that they really solve problems as engineers. And for me, uh, working as a user experience designer also, I was always just thinking how actually it solved the problem. That's why for me, this value is one of the most important ones. Safety consciousness, it's everyone that if you feel that you, risk, that you, you feel risk at your team, that you should be able to speak up. This is also very important. And of course, you need to be proud of the things you're doing. And uh, around uh, 
98% uh, uh, of participants of this research they really feel proud to work as engineer. So how many of you here really proud that you work in this field and you're an engineer? Yes, yeah, that's a really good how you could describe a good engineering culture. And uh, the one of the also most important things here, and I like this is uh, value the most, it's like to be team oriented. That actually like each company, they not always be oriented, of course, on the product and business model. But as I mentioned before, the good engineering culture is not about that. That's why like team orientation, it's one of the most important values. And all kind of cultures, it's based on values. That's why this sixth one is the most important one that actually can help you build, uh, to build a good engineer culture. So, but let's go to a bit of to practice. Besides this research, I also was talking a lot uh, with developers here at the Congress, and I was asking them, what do they think? I was talking with some speakers, I was talking with some of my friends, what they really define as a good engineering culture in their company, in the more like practical oriented level. So if we will speak about like in general, it's very important to have innovation in every level. So whatever you do in your company, that you have this innovation key. And uh, also, I think this is actually not kind of relevant to the Austrian startup culture. Unfortunately, it's to be able to learn from failures. So here, I don't know about your feeling, but I got actually, uh, this is quite often, that people are afraid to fail uh, in Austria. And I think this is one of the most important things uh, in the good engineering culture, that to be able to do this. And if you talk about development in general, that it's a really cool thing to have like, as many iterations as possible. Of course, it should be agile first. It should be data-driven, and also the team could work autonomously with each other. And another, the like, third part of this for the things that makes this engineering culture good and working all together, it's to be continuous improvement and shared responsibilities. Because I was working as a user experience engineer, and for me and my team, it was very important that, not, that everyone involved in the process and everyone has their own responsibility of the product and the project we are doing. And for me, it was uh, like describing and showing what could be a good engineering culture. And if you talk about the team, because every one of us talking with other people, uh, it's important to have transparency, trust, and also to have a leadership. Uh, because I was talking not only with experienced um, developers, but developers who are just starting their career, and a lot of them mentioned that it's very important to have this mentorship in the company that really could help you to become a better developer, a better engineer. And then you think, okay, maybe we have it all in the company. How you can realize at some point that your culture is broken? And the most important key, of course, people just start leaving. Because, you know, both people are quit, they're just like that, you know. Uh, sometimes you could really work in the company that everything looks fine, but you're just bored. Or you don't share this um, culture, like culture values that you have in this company. And uh, this is at that point, and also besides that people start to leave your company, you also at some point realize that you spend a lot of time actually dealing with process, with some situations, but not actually to work on the product. At this point, you realize that something goes wrong, and you need to fix this. And this is what we want to, I also want to mention, is how we can fix the broken engineering culture in the company. And here we go to five, five uh, in my opinion, the most important statements in terms of like what, how you can fix the engineering culture in your company. And as a leader in your company, you, of course, you need to start with yourself. Because if it's broken already and you have another mindset that's not uh, or like right for engineering culture, uh, then it could lead to some problems. And then you can't actually teach your team how you can build this engineering culture. It's also very important to build on success. And after it, you have already with your small team this engineering culture. What you need to do next is recruit other people who can share the same values. And as I mentioned, and I want to mention again, culture is based on these values, uh, this engineering culture that can share with you, and then all together you can bring uh, to make this uh, engineering culture happening. And then, yeah, just step by step, you grow bottom up. So coming to, to conclusions that no matter if you already think that you have or you have not culture, if you work in the company, yes, you have culture in the company, that for sure. Whatever it's bad or good, you have it. 
And of course, uh, another good thing is that you need to work on your culture. As I said before, uh, you need uh, to consider to actually to write it down, which values do you have? And actually, if you're really interested in about this topic, you could ask me after my talk uh, what um, researchers used, which kind of questions to define these values. And you can actually make this a small research in your team and define which kind of values you already have and which values you want to increase or decrease in your company and how it actually could help you. So this is like a continuous process. You need to work on this culture, and also it's very important to protect it. So you need to uh, find people that uh, doesn't fit, and it's very important like, to find it right, and also to hire one who can share these values of your company. And after you have a good culture and you protect it, and if not, it's you transform it, you are all here, are the culture and in your company. And if I would like to add like the one phrase that you all need to remember after my talk, that you need to leave the values. So you need really to leave these values of your company, of the engineering uh, culture in your company, that then you can share it with other team members, and this is all together transform in the good engineering culture in your company. And if you would like to talk with me more about how you can grow this engineering culture in the company, is it already existing and how is it good or not, and to give some advice, also, if you would like to participate in my research about engineering culture here in Austria, please contact me, Natalie, at tabs.ospaces. Uh, so, thank you so much, guys. That was it from my side. <laughs>